Let's take a few deep breaths. Take a little stretch. Feel free to move or keep it static. When you're ready, bring it forward onto all fours, hands and knees. And start with your cat and cow. Looking up when you inhale, turning tailbone up. And exhale, chin to chest, tuck tailbone for a few rounds. Link it with your breaths. See if you want to take circular, move, circular movements with your spine. If you choose to do that, go one way and then change the direction the other way. If you don't like that, feel free to stay with cat and cow. The main thing is you're loosening the back. And this is my last round each way. And I take a few circles into the wrists. Make sure you're spreading the fingertips. Keep the heels of your hands flat. Feel the strength in the wrists. Feel the stretch in the forearms. Take it to your front. I'm reaching the arms, lying down on your front and take a few mini cobras. Roll the shoulders back, press the feet onto the mat. Lift head and shoulders until you feel the top of your back and bring it back onto the mat on your exhale. See if you can keep your lower back long and if you've got any back issues, please stay with mini cobras today to make sure you're not putting any pressure on the lumbar spine, but you end up strengthening the upper back. This is my last round. I'm taking it through a full cobra, still keeping the thighs on the ground just to take a stretch into the stomach. And I'm sitting through a child's pose, taking a breath there to round the back and find your first downward dog. You have three to four breaths to pedal into heels, push the feet side to side, sorry, push the hips side to side, just to mobilize your bits. Elbows straight, spread fingertips, turn the tailbone high and take those long breaths. Check in with your neck as well. Turn your head side to side a few times if you're not sure. I'm going to take three chaturangas. I'm going to go slow. Lift your heels, tuck your pelvis and shift forward into a high plank. I'm dropping the knees with the first one, pointing the elbows to the back. And take it through your chaturanga. In your into cobra or abduct, see how far you want to take it. Being aware of your back. And then find your downward dog. Going through child's pose, it's always safer. Round number two for me, taking it forward into a high plank, passing through your chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or abdo. And find your downward dog. Last round. Inhale through your high plank. Exhale through staff pose. Inhale, cobra or abdo. Exhale, downward dog. Take another breath. I'm holding static stretch. And take it to the front of the mat. I'm taking small steps. Feel free to hop if you're ready. Feet hip distance for me. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold gently and hold it here. Hang your head. Bend one knee on the knee if it feels nice. That will let the hips go side to side to loosen back, waist, calves and hamstrings. Hang the crown of your head. Bring the hands back onto the shins and round the back as you come up for the first time. Sweep the arms up once you're up there. Inhale, long stretch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Two more rounds. If there is a back bend there already, feel free to go. Please squeeze the glutes so that your back is safe. One more round. Bring the hands back to the heart. Release the arms by your sides and press the feet together in the front of the mat. Make through the back, release the tension in your neck. And sit into chair on your next inhale. Squeeze the knees and sit your bum back towards your heels. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And let's make our way through Chaturanga. I'm still stepping. Feel free to hop through. And meet me in downward dog. Take another breath. Leave the right heel on your next in inhale. Stack and open your three-legged dog and hold it for your exhale. Level the hips, inhale. Right knee to the nose, tap and step through. Run is lunge. Long stance coming onto fingertips just to hold the stance with flat back, bending front knee. And straightening left knee even more, reaching left heel to the back. Drop the left knee and sweep up into crescent moon. Lengthen the spine up. Inhale, I'm scooping pelvis. Vertical twist to your right. Because your spine is vertical, look to your right. Left fingertips reach to the front. Right fingertips to the back. Take a moment here to open your chest out. Open your palms out to the right. Let's reverse the twisted lunge. Left arm reaching up. Right hand on your lower back, possibly your left hamstrings. Maybe bend the right knee more and reach high with the left fingertips. Take one more long stretch up on your inhale. Give me three-legged high plank. Cart with the hands onto the mat, lift the back knee off and shoot the right foot back, maybe hover it. See if you want to sink through Chaturanga like that. If not, tuck the toes under with me and drop the knees. And that's always good for me. Inhale, Cobra or up dog. Again, being careful of your back. And find your downward dog, child's pose or not. And hold your downward dog for a breath. <sighs> Leave the left heel three-legged dog in here. Stack and open heel to bum. Exhale. See if you can keep the right elbow straight at this point. Level your hips on your inhale. Bring the left knee to the nose. Take your time to step through. Run is lunge. Lengthening stance if you need to. Come onto fingertips, bend the left knee. And stretch the right heel to the back. Drop the right knee. Sweep up the crescent moon inhale. Focus on lengthening spine, scooping the pelvis. Vertical twist to your left your left, reach right fingertips to the front, left fingertips to the back, and hold. Let's reverse right arm up. Feel the lovely stretch in the front of your right hip. Take your time. Take one more long stretch up. Maybe bend the left knee more in nail. Three-legged high plank, but you might want to sink through Chaturanga. I'm taking my time to so, like, take the back knee off. Hover the left foot for a sec. And then let's meet in downward dog, I'm talking toes. Again, three-legged is good anytime you're ready. 
in your cobra or up dog. Let's meet in downward dog. Take a stretch in the shoulders with slight bending the knees, spread the fingertips. Inhale, look to the front, feet together in the front, step, float, hop. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Sweep up, all the way up into a standing position, inhale. Exhale, into the heart. Release the arms, same, adding to, actually, have a sip of water. Right, come to the front of the mat. Are we okay? Feet together. Shoulders back. Chair pose. Inhale, sit back, squeeze the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Let's have a go with your hand balance. It's not necessary. I'm bringing hands onto the mat. It's trickier because your feet are together. I'm going for crane, tapping the knees onto the back of the arms, elbows point to the back. See if you want to tip the weight into the fingertips. You don't have to lift off just yet, but see if you can bring the knees together. Oh, heels up to your bum. If you're ready to jump through each other, I'm going to go for it. If you're not sure, land the feet. Take one more halfway lift with me. Make your way through your chaturanga. Let's meet in downward dog. Take your time. I'm going to hold it in downward dog for another breath in case you're playing around with it. Inhale, cobra, up dog. And exhale. <sighs> Take a stretch in downward dog. Lift the right heel, three legged dog. Stack and open heel to bum on your exhale. Level the hips, inhale, knee to nose, step through into runner's lunge, exhale, keeping back knee off the mat, sweep up into crescent lunge, inhale, vertical twist across, twist across to your right again, exhale, left fingertips towards the front of the mat, reverse, left arm up, maybe right hand on your left hamstrings, inhale, I'm floating into balance. Warrior three, hinging forward, reaching left fingertips towards the front, right fingertips to the back, and take off. Lift the left heel. See if you can square your shoulders and hips and lengthen between left fingertips and left heel. Take one more breath, and stand up into twisted stalk, left knee into the chest, cartwheel left arm to the back and grab the left knee with your right hand. Create that twist, rotation to your left, opening the chest to the left, but your left knee still pointing to the front of the mat. Going through the same warrior three as before. Left heel to the back, left fingertips to the front. It's just a, a quick one, just a transition and step into reverse warrior. Lend the left foot in the back, left heel flat. Can't wear the right arm all the way up. Sit deep into the right knee. Take that long stretch. On your next inhale, straighten both knees. Bring the feet parallel to each other. I'm still reaching the right arm up. Dive to the mat, wide legged forward, forward. Right hand on the mat, but I'm twisting the back. Reaching left arm up to the sky. Bend your knee slightly if your back is rounding. See if you can create a flat back so that you can focus on rotating the spine and possibly stacking the shoulders on top of each other. Let's take a slight break. Bring the left hand onto the mat. I'm taking a halfway lift on an inhale just to set up the spine and level the hips and take a forward fold. Dive your chest towards the mat and reach the hands where they have to go to create an inner thigh and hamstring stretch. Let's walk to the front of the mat for a side lunge. Turn the toes out and sit onto your right heel into a side lunge. You don't have to go far because this is the first one. I give you a little option straight away. You can still stay higher or lower. 
I'm reaching the left hand across to the right ankle to grab it. And maybe just push your right knee out harder. And make sure your left knee is straight. If you're sitting down already, see if you can keep your bum off the ground and lengthen through the back while you're holding onto the right ankle. And either push your right knee out with the right elbow. See if you can reach the right arm up to the sky. But you might be able to pop the left bum cheek onto the mat and give it a side bend straight away. But it's early days, we're gonna come back here and you can practice it. Let's meet in an easy twist. I'm coming through a side lunge, reaching the left heel of the hand in line with the right foot, leveling the hips and reach the right arm up. I'm doing a star pose. You might be ready for a side plank. Drop the left knee if you're coming with me or freak the left heel for side plank. I'm bringing knee, heel to bum and pushing right heel to the back to find star pose. Stack the shoulders and hips, maybe the feet if you've got side plank. Take a long inhale, thread the needle once, reach the right hand under the left armpit as you exhale. Reach back up, inhale, and find a high plank. Maybe a three-legged high plank if you want. Let's sink onto your front and stay there. There is your back extension coming. Press the feet onto the mat so we are safe. Lift into mini cobra. So you're lifting head and shoulders halfway. Lengthen tailbone to the back and draw the belly button away from the mat. Staying here is good. We'll sweep the arms out to the sides. Start pointing fingers to the back. Feeling the upper back working, rolling shoulder blades together. Check that the back of your neck is long. Stay here or squeeze the glutes first. That will scoop your pelvis more and maybe lift the legs. Or locust if you want. Lengthen mom one time between crown of the head and the toes. And bring it back onto the mat slowly. Let's meet in downward dog. You might want to press up. You might want to sit through a child's pose because that rounds and stretches the lower back. Take a breath once you're in downward dog. Take your time. Inhale, look to the front, exhale, feet together in the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep all the way up into a standing position, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Release the arms, starting the other side straight away, feet together in the front. Inhale, <coughs> excuse me, chair pose, squeeze the knees together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And there is your hand balance, unless you want to focus on stretching. Spread the fingers, heels of the hands no wider than the shoulders. Tap the back of the knees onto the armpits. And see if you want to put the weight into the wrists, fingertips, and maybe pulling the heels up to your bum. There is your chance to jump through Chaturanga or come with me. I'm landing. One more halfway lift. Make your way through your press-up position in your own time. Let's meet in downward dog. If you want to leave out your press-up at this point, that is absolutely fine. In your cobra or up dog. Let's meet in downward dog. Lift the left heel, three-legged dog. Stack and open, pull the heel to your bum. Hold it for your exhale. Level your hips, inhale. Bring the left knee to the nose and step through into runner's lunge. Sweep the arms up into crescent lunge, inhale. Vertical twist to your left. Right fingertips point to the front as you open your arms in a T exhale. Reverse, right arm up, left hand on your lower back if it's there. Pull hamstrings in here. And there is your balance. Inch forward, warrior three, reach right arm to the front. Left fingertips to the back. Find a straight line between crown of the head and the heel before you hinge any further. Level and square hips and shoulders. Stand up into twisted stalk. 
Right knee to the chest, cartwheel the hands around. Right fingertips to the back. Grab the right knee with the left hand. Try and open your chest out to the right while you're pointing the right knee to the front. Long neck. A quick warrior three, one more time, just as a transition. Transition. Right heel to the back, right fingertips to the front. And land in reversed warrior. Right foot flat and cartwheel the left hand up. Sink deep into the stance. Straighten both knees, turn the feet parallel. Reach the left arm higher, inhale. Wide legged forward for the left hand on the mat. And then reach the right arm up to twist the back. See if you can keep both arms straight. See if you can keep your back flat and long. Bend the knees so that it helps. See if you can stack the shoulders. Let's take a break. Right hand on the mat. Inhale into another flat back and exhale forward for five breaths. Good time to um, headstand if you want. Otherwise, stretch with me. Focus on turning the tailbone off. And take long breaths. If you're coming out of a headstand, please come out of it slowly, controlled. Focus on the eccentric phase to strengthen hamstrings, glutes, and stomach muscles. I'm moving on, slowly sitting onto the left heel, side lunge, turning the toes out. Again, you might want to stay high, you can still do that. And see if you want to reach the right fingertips to the left ankle. Stay here. Feel the stretch in the inner thigh, see if you want to take it further towards the ground. Pushing into the left knee is always good. See if you want to reach the left arm up. It's opening the back, uh, chest working on the back muscles. See if you want to put the right bum cheek onto the mat if it's there, but again, early days, you might want to wait until we get to the other second round. Take a little stretch if it's there. Let's meet in side plank, <laughs> side lunge, sorry. And take it into an easy twist slowly. Bring the right hand in line with the left heel. Turn the hip square, the short side of the mat and reach the left arm up. Find the stacked shoulders so you're safe in case you're going straight into a side plank. If you're with me, star, dropping right knee to pivot on the knee and push the left foot back. But again, you might be in side plank. Stack shoulders, hips, draw the belly button in. Take one more inhale, maybe lift the hip higher, thread the needle once. Reach the left hand on the right armpit, exhale. Reach back up, inhale. High plank or sink through your chaturanga, possibly three-legged for some of you and stay on your front. Start to slide, slide back extension from the top of your back while you're pressing the feet into the mat. Lengthen tailbone, draw the belly button away from the mat. If you're safe, sweep the arms around, maybe point fingertips to the back. You might be ready to interlace the fingers above the hips and then roll shoulder blades together, maybe straighten elbows. Maybe lift the hands off your hips. If you want to take it further, make sure you scoop your pelvis one more time, squeeze the glutes, lift the legs with straight knees. One more lengthening between crown of the head and toes. Maybe knees, heels, toes together if there is no back pain. And then finally, take it onto the mat. I'm just going to take a moment here. I'm going to avoid press up because I have just stretched the front of the shoulders, but feel free to go for it. Let's meet in downward dog. I'm sitting through a careful child's post around my back. Let's find downward dog together. Take another breath. Inhale, look to the front, exhale, step, hop, flute to the front of the mat. Feet together for me. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep all the way up. 
mountain pose. Maybe a slight back bend in here. Exhale into the heart. Take a sip of water. Guys, are we okay? Cheers all. Come to the front of the mat. Let me start again from the beginning. We are not really changing anything else. You know your options. Please be careful with your joints. Feet together, chest up, shoulders back. Inhale into your chair. Exhale, forward fold. There's your hand balance. Take your options. Folding is good. Drills are good. You don't have to take all the weight into the wrists. Feel free to jump through your chaturanga. No rush. We're going to meet in down with You can leave out your press up position. Again, if you're coming with me, just step down and step through your press up position. If you choose to do it, or leave it out and step back into the armor dog. Leave the right heel three-legged dog, stack and open heel to bum. Exhale. Level your hips, inhale. Knee to nose, step through into the runner's lunge. Exhale. Sweep the arms up, crescent in here. Twist to your right. Reach left fingertips to the front, exhale. Reverse the twisted lunge, left arm up. Long in here. There is your balance. Hinge forward, warrior three. I'm reaching left fingertips to the front. Lift the left heel. Find the straight lines, the leveled hips and shoulders. Stand up into twisted stalk, left knee into the chest or to staff pose. If you want to grab the outside edge of the left foot. Left fingertips reach to the back, lengthen through the back. And whether you're straightening the left knee or not, it's up to you. Feel the long back, the twist in the spine. Take it through warrior three one more time. Left heel to the back. I'm reaching left arm to the front. Reverse the warrior. Left heel flat. Right arm sweeps up. Make sure you sink deep into the long stance in here. Diving to the ground straight away with the twist. Right hand onto the mat as you, as you fold in wide legged forward fold. Reach the left arm up. Take your time. Take your time. I'm not moving fast. I'm just telling you what comes. Straight away, I'm sitting into a side lunge to the front of the mat. Turn the toes and sit onto the right heel. I'm reaching left hand across to grab the right ankle. Take about a couple of breaths to find the options you need. See if you can reach the right arm up. See if you want to do a side bend, popping the left arm cheek onto the ground. Take your time to work your way through the options and let's meet in an easy twist. Bring your left hand in line with the right heel, turn the hips and reach the right arm off. Stay here or take a quick quad stretch, dropping the left knee, opening the chest and pulling the heel to the bum. It's not a long one and please be careful with your knees. I just want to feel the lengthening in the front of the left thigh. Let's meet in star pose. You can go from here We'll tug the toes, lift the back knee, flick the heel if you want the side plank. Stack shoulders, hips, maybe the feet, and lift the hips high. Take a long inhale. Thread the needle, reach the right arm under the right shoulder. Exhale, keep the heels flat if you can. Inhale, reach the arm back up. Let's meet on our stomach. Sink through your press up if you want, but feel free to drop the knee, stay on your front. There is your back extension. You know what you're doing. You don't have to wait. But make sure you activate the upper back muscles first, then find the arm position. Again, I'm, inter I'm interlacing, but you don't have to. Make sure you activate the glutes to tug the pelvis, and that will protect your back in case you're thinking about lifting the legs. 
Think about long back mainly. Hold for one more in here. And bring it onto the mat on your axe here. Feel free to do a press up. I'm sitting through a tucked pelvis child pose. Meeting a downward dog. Inhale, look to the front, exhale, feet together in the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep up into mountain pose. Take a long inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Release the hands, other side. Sit into chair pose, squeeze the knees together, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. There is your hand balance or feel free to stretch the hamstrings. Take about three breaths and I will meet you in a downward dog. If you want to leave out the hand balance, that's absolutely fine. If you want drills, absolutely fine. Take your time to step or jump through your chaturanga or leave it out and meet me in a downward dog. Lift the left heel, three-legged dog, stack and open, heel to bum on your exhale, level hips inhale, knee to nose, step through runner's lunge, exhale, sweep the arms up crescent, inhale, vertical twist to your left, exhale, reverse right arm up, inhale, there is your balance, warrior three. Reach the right arm, lift the right heel. Exhale. Take your time to level hips, create straight lines. Stand up into twisted stalk or staff. Go to your right hand to the back, lift the right knee. Grab the knee or the outside of the right foot, long spine first, and see if you want the right knee extension. Let's go back through warrior three slowly. Right finger lifts to the front if you can as you shift the right heel back. Step into reversed warrior. Right heel flat, cartwheel left arm on. Sing deep into the stance. So straightening the legs to reach left arm high, turn the feet, turn the feet parallel in here. Right leg it forward, forward. Left hand on the ground, reach right arm up to twist the back. Take a moment to straighten both uh, elbows, but bend the knees slightly if necessary. Side lunge onto the left heel. Reach the right hand under. Turn the toes outward slightly. Sit onto your left heel into a side lunge. I'm reaching left ankle with the right hand. Take the options, slowly. Strengthening the back by reaching the left arm up. Or maybe pop the bum onto the mat and reach left hand to the right foot. Working my way back through a side lunge, meet me in an easy twist. Right hand on the mat, turn the hips, reach the left arm. Feel free to stay or drop the right knee for the extra quad stretch, pulling heel to the bum, lifting your chest high, being very careful with your right knee. release into star or side plank. I'm talking right toes because I'm lifting right knee. Flick the heel, push the left foot behind you, whichever one you're doing. Stack shoulders, hips, maybe feet. Lift the hips high. One more inhale. Thread the needle once, reach the left arm under the right armpit, exhale. Lift the arm in here, side plank or star. Sink onto your front. Exhale, stay there. Upper back extension first. You know your locust, you know it, you don't have to wait. Find the arm position. 
and make sure you've got the tuck in the pelvis, the squeeze in the glutes to protect your back if you're thinking about lifting your legs. Feel the constant lengthening of the tailbone to the back of the mat. Take one more long stretch, one more long lift if it's there. And bring it onto the mat. I stay on your front for a sec. Push the hip side to side a few times. Sit back into child's pose. Find your downward dog. Take a stretch, take a breath. Inhale, look to the front, exhale, feet together in the front. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Come all the way up into mountain pose, reach up high, squeeze the glutes if you want the back bend. Exhale, enter the heart. Have a sip of water, one more round. Give me thumbs up or down. Last round, front of the mat, feet together, standing long, inhale into chair, exhale forward fold, hand balance, we'll make your way through your chaturanga however you wish, we meet in downward dog your time. I'm taking one more breath in the armor block. Focus on the shoulders. Lift the right heel, three-legged dog, stack and open. Make sure your left elbow is straight as you pull the heel to the bottom. Level your hips, inhale. Knee to nose, just to strengthen the tummy, step through runner's lunge. Exhale. Sweep the arms up, crescent lunge, inhale. Vertical twist to your right. Exhale. Reverse the twisted lunge, left arm up, inhale. Warrior three for the last time on that side. Float into balance. And up into stalk or staff pose. Caught with left hand behind you. Lengthen through the back. Maybe the right knee that you're standing on. Warrior three. Control it. Reverse the warrior. Left heel flat behind you. Long stance. Sweep the right hand up. Straighten knees. Right leg it forward, forward, right hand on the ground. Sweep the left arm up. Side lunge onto the right heel, turn the toes first as you sit down. Reach the left hand across to the right ankle. I'm taking three breaths to play with options or hold you a stretch. Two more breaths. Last one. Let's meet in easy twist. Left hand on the ground, square your hips, right arm up. Stay here, I've got three breaths in a quad, quad stretch. If you just drop the knee, but you don't pull the heel to your bum, that's plenty. That will give you more of a stretch in the front of your hip. Open through your chest. Bend your right knee even more. That's good, that's good, careful on the knee. Release, there is your star, or if you want to straighten your left knee with me, find side plank for the last time. 
push the right foot behind you find the stacked shoulders and hips lift the hip higher maybe the feet are stacking take one more long breath as you press into the left heel of the hand thread the needle exhale you may reach up exhale find yourself on your front there is your back extension after this if you want if not just stay there i'm starting with locust and i will end up with bow pose hopefully activate upper back glutes find the arm position i'm thinking bow so i'm not interlacing the fingers make sure you squeeze the glutes to lengthen the spine the lumbar spine and see if you want to bend your knees grab the ankles flexed feet possibly make sure you push the ankles into the hands to lift you but i'm still still feeling the engagement in the glutes slowly bring it onto the ground you will have one more round of this if you want to try it but you don't have to I'm definitely going into a child's pose. I need that tuck in the pelvis, the stretch in the lumbar spine. Find your downward dog and take another breath there. You need to look to the front, exhale, feet together in the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep up into mountain, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Other side, that's your last round. Sit into chair pose on your next inhale. Make sure you squeeze the knees. Sit a bit lower if you can. Forward fold, exhale. Last hand balance if you want it. Or leave it out. And meet me in a downward dog. Take your time. No rush. I'm taking one more breath in downward dog, so please don't rush it. Lift the left heel, inhale, three-legged dog, stack an open heel to bum, right elbow straight. Level hips, inhale, knee to nose, run his lunge. Exhale. Sweep the arms up, crescent, inhale. Vertical twist to your left. Exhale, it's vertical with your because your spine is vertical. Reverse, right arm up, inhale. Last balance, inch forward, warrior three. Take off, exhale. Take your time, take your time to level hips. Twisted stalk or staff pose. Right fingertips cartwheel to the back. Find the long back and the knee you're standing on. If you're straightening it, that will make it even tougher. Warrior three for the last time. Right heel to the back, right hands to the front. Reverse the warrior, step the right foot back, caught with the left hand up, make sure your stance is long. Straighten both knees, inhale. Dive the left hand towards the ground, wide legged forward, forward, exhale. Feet parallel at this point, reach the right arm on. Side lunge onto the left heel. I'm using right hand to reach across, make sure you turn the toes out. Take your time to find a stretch, make sure you're safe. Take it as far as you wish. And slow it down, no rush. And I'm coming back through my side lunge. And finding easy twist, right hand on the ground. Turn the hips, left arm up. See if you want the extra stretch by dropping knee and you keep it here or pull the heel to your bum. Bend the left knee more, whatever you choose, that will stretch it further and open your chest up.
Let's meet in star or side plank. Take your time. Push the left foot behind you. Find the stacking with the shoulders and hips, maybe feet, lift the hip higher. Take a long inhale, thread the needle once. Exhale. Reach back up in here. Sink onto your front, your last back extension if you want to do it. Start activating from the top of your spine. Lengthen lower back by scooping tummy once you have found your arm position. Think about what, whether you want to do the bow pose afterwards. Make sure your knees are straight if you lift into locust. And see if you want to do the extra back bend. Very careful. Squeeze your glutes before you push your ankles into the hands. And then slowly release it onto the ground. And take a moment on your front. Let's meet in child's pose where you might want to hold it for a breath or two. And find your downward look in your own time. Take a breath to stretch into shoulders, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, look to the front, exhale, feet together in the front. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, forward fold. Find mountain pose. Sweep all the way up in here. Exhale, as to heart. Find yourself on your bum. If you want to practice any knee mobility, then sit back again, whether your feet are together, whether your knees are wide, or just pop yourself onto your bum. Using the hands on the mat is always good. And find yourself in the middle of the mat. Yes, we are going to use both, both pose. But I need to set up because I need to get it right. I'm rubbing the back of the knees. I'm pressing the toes onto the ground. I need to squeeze and, and the knees and toes together. Lengthen through the upper back and now scoop the lower back. If you've got any back issues, watch what happens in the front of your hips. If they are tight, they might pull on your back, so please stay here. Keep the feet on the ground. I'm releasing the hands otherwise and lifting the legs. For me, pressing the knees and toes together helps because it activates my inner thighs, which in return will activate your core muscles. Feel the scoop in the tummy. Feel the release of the tension in the neck if there is any. Again, can't emphasize it enough, please be careful. I'm going to go into a low boat, which is a dish hold. I'm straightening the knees and pressing the lower back onto the ground, scooping the tummy even more. And I'm coming into a high boat, bending knees and lifting the chest. I'm going to do it four more times. If it's too much, meet me on your back or hold your boat pose. Inhale, opening the chest, low boat. See if you want to keep your legs straight as you come up on your exhale, like a teaser. Scoop the tummy as you take it into low boat or dish hold. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. It might be easier if it hurts your back. It's an absolute no-no. We've got two more. Squeeze the tummy, scoop, as if you were about to lift your tailbone off. Exhale, lift. And I've got one more. Scoop, 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 inhale. Exhale, bring it up. See if you can hold your high boat just for another breath. Bring your knees into your chest, roll onto your back. Hug your knees in. Relax head and shoulders, look side to side. One more opening in the front of your hips in a shoulder bridge. I'm pressing feet onto the ground. Hands by my sides. I'm scooping the pelvis to lift up into, into the shoulder bridge. Make sure you feel the lengthening in the lower back. I'm doing it once and holding it on the very top chin of your chest. Do that your pubic bone is higher than your belly button. Knees are no wider than your hips. 
feel that you're opening the front of your hips. If you want more, feel free to tuck your hands underneath your shoulders and lift up into a wheel. If you want to come with me, I'm interlacing fingers underneath your hips and tucking shoulder blades under to possibly lift the hips higher. Anything that works your glutes and opens the front of your hips, your hip flexors, but doesn't put any pressure on your lower back is good. Scooping the pelvis will help whichever position you're in. Take your time to release out of it. Shoulder blades, hands, or tuck the chin to the chest if you're coming out of a wheel. Move the spine back onto the ground and hug the knees into your chest. Rock side to side a few times. If you've got a strap or a towel, please use it for a hamstring stretch. I'm releasing the left foot onto the ground and straightening the right leg up, grabbing the back of the right leg. Before I settle into the stretch, I'm going to circle into the, the ankle to loosen my calf. And then find your stretch, possibly put your strap around your foot, maybe a big toe pose. Piece fingers on the right hand around the big toe on the right side. And then maybe straighten and send your left heel away from your bum to send the tailbone long. And close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to find the lengthening in the back of your right thigh, your hamstrings. releasing out of the hamstring stretch. I'm doing a, a lower back stretch before I'm doing the other side. I'm putting the right thigh on top of the left thigh. You might be able to double wrap. The right foot wraps around the back of your left calf. Now I like the knees across to my right both ways, but I know if you do the classes with K, K goes the other way around. So which one works? See which one works for you. Try and turn your head away from the knee. Find that nice stretch in your lower back. If you have your own lower back stretch, let's try that. You try dropping the knees both ways. See which one works for you. Start bringing it through the center and untangle the legs, whatever stretch you're coming out of. Let's do the hamstrings first. I'm sending the left leg up, circling into the ankles once you manage to grab the left leg somewhere. Find a stretch, maybe send the right heel away from your bum to send the tailbone flat on the mat. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths.
and release slowly. Again, your spinal twist, whatever you have, I'm putting left thigh across the right. Maybe a double rep if you're happy on the joints and drop the knees the other way. Just make sure you'll find your own stretch that works. I tend to look away from the knees. And then slowly release through the center. Feel free to take one more long stretch. Take your time to roll onto your right side. Maybe hug the knees into your chest and hold it for a breath before you sit up. Once you're sitting up, I've got one more thing to do. I promise, I promise, I promise I'm going to finish it off with you in a sec. Just a quick glute stretch. If you like stacked pigeon, stack the heel on top of the knee. And as you can see, this should be closing. I've got a triangle. If that doesn't work for you, one heel into the bum, the other heel in front of you. And if you drop the knee, lean forward. You might feel a bit of stretch in your glutes. If you want to go onto your back again and put the, one, the heel across your thigh, because that works for you, that's good. I'm just going to take about five breaths here to make sure I can feel the glute stretch. Try and close your eyes. in your own time on tangled and chain sides this is the last one finding the glute stretch the other way thinking about taking long breaths again really slowly. Let's finish it with the next stretches. Find your own comfortable seated position. Use the blocks. It might be nice on your back. Mm. Release the shoulders, release the hands. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder once you're there. Hold it for a breath. Feel free to use your right hand to pull and reach behind the back of your back of your, no, reach behind the left ear. I'm going to pull myself together. Coming through the center on your inhale. Left ear to the left shoulder, using the left hand is always good. Tune the chest and take that big circle one way. the big circle the other way.
Once you're back to centre, one more quick stretch on the back of your neck. If you drop the chin to the chest, use your fingertips to gently pull. Then release, lift your chin to the sky and sweep the arms up on your inhale. Exhale into the heart. Thank you very much everyone. Namaste.